Before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I kind of wanted to break down and introduce what this video is going to be about so I don't waste your time and you know if this video is for you. Now, the issues that I was having was my mouse was stuttering all over the screen, my webcam had little stutters in it, subtle stutters, and I also had audio lagging stutters, and I had this weird thing where my audio was doing these beeping sounds like bat, 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 and it seems to be due to latency and some sort of driver thing. So there's the app right here in the background latency monitor last night everything was red i was able to bring down the numbers also when i'm recording and doing other things at the same time uh the numbers seem to go a little bit higher but this video should hopefully help you get to a resolution if you're having the same issue to where at least you have some sort of normal functionality now my computer my motherboard and the processor is pretty outdated i think that's where i run into issues also my video card is pci3 but the card the motherboard the cpu they only support up to pci2 so my my video card's running slower than it should be uh and then my usb ports they're 2.0 and uh, I've had problems with my ports before. I'm starting to think I have some sort of hardware problem with my uh, USB ports. I really need to upgrade. But in the meantime, this fixed my issue. So I'm going to take you through a few online resolutions that I thought were noteworthy and helpful that you should definitely try out. And then we're going to get into my part of the video. And I'm going to show you live what I did to fix some of my issues that I was having. And it may work for you. The first uh, online suggestion that I thought was really useful, and this really helped partly with the issue that I was having, was changing your uh, onboard SATA mode to AHCI. I don't know what it is. I had mine in RAID, I switched it to that, the latency dropped, it seemed to drop. Uh, the next suggestion that I have is if you have an NVIDIA gift, gift card, <laughs> if you have an NVIDIA uh, video card, right, go into your uh, NVIDIA control panel, go into your manage 3D settings. Under manage 3D settings, the suggestion that I hear from multiple people online is um, under power management mode, change it to maximum performance. I hear that helps. Now, when I first did this, I ran into the issue where it says you don't have enough access and it was denied. And I had to go online and look and find out that what you're gonna have to do is if you run into that issue, you need to go into your GeForce experience, go online, reinstall your drivers for the video card. And when you get the option to custom install, go to custom. And once you're in custom, you wanna do a clean install, which is gonna wipe all the old settings and do a fresh driver install. You wanna do that. And then you can come back here and you can actually change these settings. I want to put the instructions in the video uh, comment section, well, the description below, uh, so for the people that want to know step by step, because I'm kind of breezing by these. The other thing I hear is pretty useful is disabling HPET to raise performance. Uh, here it says you go into your device manager, system devices, high precision event timer, click it, uh, and you go to disable, restart your computer. I'll put that in the description also. Uh, that's supposed to help with FPS and a little bit of performance. And the last online suggestion before we get into my part of the video, which I thought was really useful, it's something called Power Miser. This is like an NVIDIA feature. And this thing, it does kind of like power management to where it like, it somehow slows the performance or whatever based on whatever. Disabling this, I hear it helps out. Now, it's something that you're gonna have to do in your registry it's a couple of modifications so what i'll do is i'll put the link in the description and this guy did a really good job he put pictures instructions and everything so if you want to do that you can do that too and i think that's it let's get into the rest of the video issue resolved What's up, everybody? It's Ike How are you doing today? I wanted to make this video to maybe help somebody else if they run into this issue to save them from all the hours that it took me. Uh, hopefully, this will help you resolve the issue. I had major latency on my computer last night, uh, and it was really annoying, and it affected all my devices. And basically, what it did was like my mouse, when I was scrolling across the screen, every couple of seconds, it would like skip and jump, which wasn't too big of a deal. But then when I opened up the webcam, the webcam was actually doing the same kind of stutter effect every couple of seconds like if I was moving it would like jump like to the next area and then when I noticed my audio which was the worst thing every couple of seconds it would like skip and it was also making a beeping sound like bat 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 so pretty much rendered my computer uh, not really usable to be able to do the things that I need to do uh, so uh, one of the first things I'm, I'm gonna show you live 
how you can bring down the latency and the app that we're looking at here is called latency mon uh, it's a free app it'll tell you on your computer what is causing all the latency or where's all the latency coming from now um, as you can see here there's two uh, indications here for the highest ones which says dxg kernel that sys it's a direct x uh, graphics kernel and the other one here says n this dot sys network driver interface now when i first saw these and i looked this up i thought that maybe it's something with the graphics card the software i've tried reinstalling a bunch of that kind of stuff for direct x it didn't really work now we're looking at here the top latency monitor this is monitoring live the latency right so as you can see here it's low right now and then i keep getting spikes so you see the huge spike right there. So let me tell you what I first did because right now the mouse is not lagging, the camera's not lagging. I was able to solve some of my issues. Uh, first thing you gotta do if you haven't done so already is go to find out your BIOS, um, update the drivers. Your BIOS, the chipset, the processor. Uh, try to update all the drivers you can from the manufacturer and see if that doesn't help, uh, which it kind of didn't help me out. Uh, and what I ended up doing is going into the BIOS. Another option you can do is go into the BIOS and make sure that all the CPU settings for throttling or anything like that is turned down, turned off. You can also restart your computer and safe mode and see if that helps it out, which it didn't help me. You can also um, cold boot your computer, which means disable all your Microsoft services and start it up, which didn't help me. Um, so those are some of the things that you should run through before uh, and see if that helps you out. Now, going to the bios actually helped me out a little bit because what i did was i changed my sata from uh raid to uh a h c i i think it was uh the other thing i did was i had a, I actually have a hard drive on my computer that's not even working but it was plugged in and powered up it was plugged into the motherboard and it was in the cpu boot process like in the bios it was in set up in the boot process so what i did was i physically went into my computer i removed the wiring uh and unplugged the hard drive and i also went into my um, bios and i disabled it from booting up or reading it uh so um when i did those modifications and i looked into my bios that helped me out halfway but when i came back and started the computer i was still having these latency issues and i was like let me take this opportunity to show you guys what i did to stop this latency issue so um I went into my device drivers, okay? And a lot of people online, they say that their issue actually came from the Wi-Fi adapter, the Wi-Fi drivers, so try that out. That helps you out. It didn't help me out. Um, what helped me out, believe it or not, was my actual, my LAN card, my the card that you put, the, where you put your ethernet cord to plug in your internet. Um, let me show you, when I actually disable this, right? Disable the function, okay? Take a look now at my live latency okay you'll notice that there's no more spikes you know what i'm saying so it's really interesting uh i'm not a computer expert i i'm a little bit more knowledgeable than the average person but i'm not a computer expert uh, the only thing i can think of i mean this part here says network driver which kind of maybe indicates there's something wrong with that and sometimes i think maybe um, one problem can cause a bunch of other problems or symptoms uh so what we're going to do for the resolution um i went on line and I found out um, the drivers. There was one released, 11.9.2018. Uh, the thing is here is when I went to properties, uh, the driver, it says 2.15.15, the driver date. But when I actually hit update driver, it says it's the latest drivers. So sometimes you, I guess you can't trust the Windows um, platform. I already did all the Windows updates, everything. I'm telling you, I did everything and nothing worked. Uh, so that's why I was hoping that uh, if somebody runs into this, maybe they'll see this video, maybe it'll help them out. So I already downloaded the software because I just disabled the card. Uh, we're gonna test it out here. This is supposed to be the drivers. Hopefully it works. Uh, you know, I went online and I was just browsing so many websites, going here, going there, like literally hours, and nothing really was helpful. You know, so in those cases, when I'm able to kind of solve something for myself, I'm not saying that this is going to be the solution for everybody, uh, but I was like, let me take the time and maybe somebody will see this and help them out. Do you want to close the applications? Yeah, sure. The other thing, too, is make sure you're driving the correct drivers, downloading the correct drivers for your computer. As you can see here, the version I have is 825579LM. Uh, or oh, they closed my driver's window. But you can check your driver, the model number of the device and everything. And this is the latest one that I saw online for Intel. So we're going to go back into device manager. Um, let's check out the properties. The driver date did change to 725.16. Uh, 
it didn't it doesn't have this date here but it did change though so um let's enable it let's see and if, if it works enable driver let's check out latency monitor And it looks like the issue is resolved. No more high latency. Um, let me close this out and start it over. Not denied. Sometimes latency monitor it does that. Like you close it out and it'll, you'll try to like uh, just end the task. We'll do it again. We'll open it up and we'll see if we have the issue resolved. Hit start. Sometimes you got to give it a couple seconds to load up. Issue resolved. Fix the problem, man. So I really hope if somebody on the internet is running into all the trouble that I'm running to, uh, maybe you'll come across this video and it'll help you out. It gave me a ton of problems. I especially feel for the people that aren't that savvy with computers. Um, you know, I'll put the links of where you can download this software. Uh, free, feel, feel free to email me, contact me on Twitter or email if you have any questions or need a little bit of help and guidance. But it should resolve, man. <laughs> Peace. I see potential subscribers. Subscribe for more. This is the mother of